fuzzy legs? Do you think you could secure those windows? And you'll alert me if anything scary comes close to the cottage? Shh. Oh, who am I kidding? When something scary comes close to the cottage? Please tell me my hiding place is ready. Oh, look. You filled it with everything I need to survive this awful night. Thank you. Thank you all. Now I don't have to step a hook outside until this whole thing is over. Oh no, you don't have any carrots? Do we have any other fresh veggies you may enjoy? Or maybe some hay? But that means I'll need to go out. What nightmare night? <laughs> Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? about. It's Nightmare Night, remember? How could I forget? Oh, I don't suppose I could borrow a few pieces of hay from you. I forgot to stock up on food for Angel, and you do seem to have quite a lot. We need it for the Apple Family Haunted Maze. The scariest maze that there ever was. Who knows what lurks inside? Oh, I'm sure I don't. Is that the mummified pony that just leaped out? I don't know. Is it? And what's that crunching sound beneath your hooves? Maybe it's the bones of ponies that didn't make it out alive. The bones? And are those pea or grapes? Or a thousand slimy eyeballs staring at you from beyond the grave? Please tell me they're grapes. Oh, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wonder what got stuck in her craw. Twilight? Hello? <laughs> you think it's scary now? Just wait until it's done. That's okay. I'll take your word for it. Hey, wait a minute. It's nightmare night, and you're here and not holed up in your cottage. Does this mean what I think it means? That I foolishly forgot to stock up on food for Angel and had to go out to get him something but got spooked in town, so I came here hoping Twilight had some lettuce I could give him. Oh, I thought maybe you decided to come out with us tonight. Goodness, no. I couldn't be out tonight. I just couldn't. Technically speaking, you already are out right now. Oh, I guess that is true. So, what if you stayed out a little longer with your friends? I know they'd be super excited. You think so? You would make them so happy if you joined in. They wouldn't believe their eyes. Come on, Fluttershy. What do you say? And then it got very, very quiet. And suddenly, they realized the balloons had never been in <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the night that the mannequin came to life and haunted all the costumes? What happened? I just told you, darling. A mannequin came to life, haunted all the costumes. Hi, everypony. 
Fluttershy, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. In fact, it's more than fine. I've decided to join you in your Nightmare Night festivities. <laughs> Seriously? You? Out? Tonight? Every Nightmare Night, I shut myself in my cottage and refuse to come out until morning. But it's just like when I was afraid to sing in front of any pony. If I hadn't given it a try, I never would have found out how much I enjoy it. And we'd have missed out on how great you sound. Fluttershy with us on Nightmare Night? Why, that's positively the most wonderful news I've heard in ages! You can get dressed up in a costume with us and play Nightmare Night games with us and eat candy apples with us! Don't forget the best part, going through my family's corn maze. Oh, right. The maze. Uh, only if you're up for it. Oh, I am. I am ready to take on Nightmare Night. Yay! <laughs> Just practicing. <laughs> Mummy? No. Headless pony? No. Vampire fruit bat? Ugh, definitely no. You see, Fluttershy, the beauty of Nightmare Night is that you don't have to dress up as something scary. Ooh, yes! This one will look gorgeous on you. Period costumes are all the rage this year. What? No good? What if we encounter something terrifying and need to get away quickly? All those layers could slow me down, or worse, make me trip. Oh, I never considered that. Never fear! <laughs> oh, now this is a real stunner. I call it Masquerade. Just a simple black dress underneath, but with this ornately decorated mask. A mask? No. They can just be so difficult to see out of. Yes, but this one has eye holes. What about being able to see what's to the left or right of me? I suppose your vision would be somewhat obscured. It's your first nightmare night out and about, and we do want you to be comfortable. What if I just wear the dress? Oh, sure, dear. That's fine. That's so plain, it's frightening. Oh, my, look at all of you. My costumes fit you to a T. Oh, wait, we're going to have the best time. Hey, Fluttershy, where's your costume? I'm wearing it. I get it! You're a robber escaping into the night! You're a ninja escaping into the night! You're black licorice escaping into the night! Close. I'm going to a masquerade ball. Without the mask. Oh! That's great. Isn't it great? Oh! oh great great yeah. costume! Save the really scary games for next year when Fluttershy's more used to it. Round and round and round you go. Where you stop, no pony knows. Okay, go! <laughs> Good luck beating that, Fluttershy. Well, um, it's just that if I'm blindfolded and some pony were to leap out in front of me, I'd never have the chance to defend myself. That's fine, darling. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We're just glad you're here. We don't have to finish that game. I have another one I know you'll love. Bobbing for apples! <laughs> Fluttershy, what's wrong? It's just that, um, what happens if when my head is deep down in the water, some kind of scary monster appears? How would I even hear to know I was under attack? It is? I think candy bags. Each bag has been made with each of you in mind, complete with each of your favorite candies. <laughs> awesome! Here, take it, take it! What are you waiting for? Well, it's just, what if when I'm eating one of these chewy taffies, my mouth becomes glued shut and I can't scream for help? Oh. 
goodness. We've only just started to celebrate Nightmare Night together, and I'm already taking all the fun out of it, aren't I? You're not taking out all the fun. Just like 90 per... Some of it. I really want to do this, but there's just so many things that terrify me about tonight. I couldn't possibly predict what might upset me. Unless... You were the one doing the scaring. Her scaring us? <laughs> oh, you're being serious. The thing you hate is being scared. But if you're the one doing the scaring, then... Then I can help you all have fun, and I can still be a part of Nightmare Night. So, you like that idea? I think I do. And I don't want to get ahead of myself. But I think I have the perfect idea for how I'm going to do it. Really? Ah, oh, this is so exciting! Meet me at my cottage in an hour. Oh, I'm excited to see every pony soon. <laughs> Welcome to Fluttershy's Tea Party. Did she just say tea party? It sounds like it's a scary tea party. <sighs> Have a seat. Don't be scared of what awaits you. Go on, pass the sugar. Oh no, there is none. You're a terrible host. Rarity, put your coat on. Why would I do that? You need to cover up because no one has complimented your dress. Pinkie Pie, look to your left and ask your best friend to pass the cucumber sandwiches. Huh? I can't. There's no pony there. That's right, because she didn't care to show up. What? A friend who didn't come through. That must scare you to the core. Quick, every pony, look behind you. Uh, what are those? They're unplanned guests. Your worst nightmare. You don't have enough food for them. Oh no, there's a tiny kitten that needs a home. But you are overscheduled right now. You don't have time to help. I said... You don't have time to help. This should appear to scare you. Why don't you look terrified? You showed up to a party and every pony was extremely disappointed in you. Can you imagine anything more upsetting? It was a really good try, darling. But the scares at Nightmare Night are of an entirely different nature. It was really creative, though. I never would have thought of uh, all this. Oh, I'm just not cut out for this. Just go on without me. Oh, no, we couldn't possibly. You have to. This is the night you look forward to all year. We could stay here? It's okay. I really want you all to have fun. This is how I spend every nightmare night. Please, go. I'll be fine. Eh, it's funny. I actually thought she had an idea for something really scary for a second there. She definitely tried her hardest. I did try my hardest. Or maybe not. I suppose I could have gone with something a bit scarier. You're right. I've been taking baby steps. I think it's time for grown-up ones. I don't suppose you have any ideas how I could do that? Every pony's lining up for the corn maze, y'all. Let's go! Oh, yeah! I can't believe we're finally doing this! <laughs> it's a good thing Fluttershy isn't here, because she would never be able to handle this.
Bunch of dried sticks painted white to me. Hey, try to keep up the illusion, would ya? was ever scared, because I wasn't. I'm a pretty good actress when I want to be. Granny? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Applejack, didn't you know about any of this? All right. I got to admit, I didn't know about any of this, but maybe they're just trying to make it interesting for me, too. I'm sure Granny Smith or Big Mac is behind this. ready to give up on Nightmare Night. So I asked Granny Smith if I could try to make the maze even scarier for my friends. You came up with all of this? I had some help. Angel was the scary figure that kept scurrying after you in the maze. Fuzzy Legs made the sticky wall that made it difficult for you to see and move. And of course, Harry was the especially scary monster. Wow, that was inspired. You have to do this every year! 
Oh, yes, yeah, every, every year. year. Oh, yeah. We could celebrate Nightmare Night together every year, but the truth is I really don't want to. You don't? But you've done it. You found a way that we can all have a fabulous time together. Yes, but I've also realized something. You all may love Nightmare Night, and I may be good at being a part of it, but it's no fun for me to see my friends feel like they're in danger, even if I know they're not. I really don't like it. It's just not my cup of tea. Spooky tea? No, just regular tea. We do lots of fun things together, but I'm afraid this just isn't gonna be one of them. Actually, I'm not afraid. I'm perfectly fine with it. Then we are too. <sighs> I don't know why I doubted myself for a second. Now this is what I call a perfect nightmare night. <sighs> Come on, Twilight. We're gonna be late for the Nightmare Night Festival! Huh? Are you that one kooky grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? I'm Star Swirl the Bearded. Father of the Amniomorphic Spell? Did you even read that book I gave you about obscure unicorn history? Um... That sounds important. Nightmare <laughs> Night! What a fright! Give us something sweet to buy! Hi, everypony. Great costumes. Happy Nightmare Night, Granny Smith. I should have been asleep five hours ago. <laughs> Pitsqueak the Pirate, at your service. It's my very first Nightmare Night. Since you moved here from Trottingham? No, my very first Nightmare Night ever. <laughs> Enough chit-chat. Time is candy. Pinkie Pie, aren't you a little old for this? <laughs> Too old for free candy? <laughs> Never! Do you like it? Yeah, great costume, Twilight! Oh, you make a fantastic weirdo clown! <laughs> a clown? Look at the borders on these robes! These are hoof-stitched! It's a great costume. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Starswirl the Bearded is only the most important conjurer of the pre-classical era. Yay! He created more than 200 spells. He even has a shelf in the Canterlot Library of Magic named after him. Maybe I should start up a pony group to teach ponies about history. I bet every pony would love it. Don't you, Spike? Mm -hmm. mm. I love it. Hey, look, we're here already. Should we get something to eat? Twilight! Twilight! Look at our hole! Oh, can you believe it? And then we went to Cheerilee's house and we got a bunch more goodies! Didn't we, Pip? Sure did! And then we had to stop and wait for Granny Smith and then we ran away. Rainbow Dash, that wasn't very nice. Lighten up, old timer! This is the best night of the year for pranks! Look what you did to Spike! <laughs> Oh, it's all in good fun. Oh, oh, there's another group over there. Happy Nightmare Night, Applejack. Howdy, Spike. Hey, Twyla. Nice costume. Thanks. I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? Thank you, everypony. And welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival. 
Now, all the little ponies who have been out collecting sweets should follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of Nightmare Moon! Her <laughs> spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> Follow me, and very soon, you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Of Nightmare Night, so dark and scary. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, Miss Sakura. If we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two so she won't return to come eat you! your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! And that was 
a good thing, right? But of course, we could not be happier. Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice. It is tradition to speak using the royal we, and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume? Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Don't worry, Princess. Fluttershy can give you some great pointers. She's delicate and demure with the sweetest little voice. Go away! You can't hear! This year's not welcome on Nightmare Night! Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy, it's me, Twilight! It is you. Oh, and Nightmare Moon. Uh, Nightmare Moon? <laughs> Wait right here. Fluttershy? You remember Princess Luna? Charmed! Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Okay. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. A little quieter, Princess. How is this? Better, right, Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How about now? Now you're getting it. And how about now? Yes, well done. I thank thee, dear Fluttershy. Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers. Fluttershy, you've got to hide us! Nightmare Moon is here and... Princess, time for plan B. <laughs> it is of no use, Twilight Sparkle. They have never liked us, and they never shall. My friend Applejack is one of the most likable ponies around. I'm sure she'll have some ideas. Oh, careful there, partner. Uh, uh, Applejack? The princess is looking for a little advice on how to fit in around here. Fit in? Really? Mm. I mean, <laughs> that's easy. All you gotta do is have the right attitude. Loosen up a bit, be positive, play a few games, have some fun. Fun? What is this fun thou speakest of? Pray tell, what purpose do these serve? Try to land this for the for the fighters on the web. You can do it, Princess. Ha! Huh. Your princess enjoys this fun. In what other ways may we experience it? We got the best apples in Equestria here, Princess. I ask that thou call us... me... Luna, fair Applejack. Hear me, villagers! All of you, call me Luna! Luna! Luna. Show me to these bobbing apples. Whoa! Hey, gals. Any ponies seen Pip? We lost them the last time we had to run... <laughs>
Not enough fun for you? What say you to this? traditional royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be canceled forever! <sighs> Shoot. We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> but I want you to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you gonna do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes, I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. <laughs> No, no shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, oh, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? Withhold my enthusiasm. Come with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Gosh, I never thought my very first nightmare night would be my very last. Come, little Pip. Now don't you fret. Nightmare night's not over yet. We still have candy left to give, so Nightmare Moon might let us live. Yes, come on, little ponies. What's Nightmare Night without the annual candy offering? You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Oh, the rainbow wig just kills it for me. Come on, kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. 
citizens of Holyville, who were wise to bring this clan into me. I am pleased with your offering, so pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For for them to scream some more? Oh, uh, Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more Nightmare Night, but do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child, art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? It's really fun. Scary, but fun. It is? Yeah, Nightmare Night is my favorite night of the year. Well, then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back! Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever! She said yes, guys! Yay! See? They really do like you, princess! Can it be true? Oh, most wonderful of... I mean... Oh, most wonderful of nights. Dear Princess Celestia, when you first sent me to Ponyville, I didn't know anything about friendship. I met some pony tonight who is having the same problem, your sister, Princess Luna. She taught me that one of the best things you can do with friendship is to give it to others and help them find it themselves. And I'm happy to report that all of Ponyville has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, even scary, when you offer them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. And even if my star swirl, the bearded costume, didn't go over, this still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. The fruit bats do, but these aren't just your everyday ordinary fruit bats. They're vampire fruit bats. I'll be darned if they think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. Whoa! Awesome! This here's our entry into the Appaloosa State Fair's produce competition. You know how much TLC goes into getting an apple to grow like this? Applejack! When you go big, you really go big. Them vampire bats want to shrivel it up like a raisin. Oh, I'm sure if we just let them know how special that particular apple is to you, they'll leave it alone. Yeah, right. Be my guest. Um, excuse me, Mr. Vampire Bat. We were just wondering if maybe 
You wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone? Well, what'd he say? Um, yes. Huh? But it could have been a no. Oh. This is the first vampire fruit bat I've ever met, and, well, it might take some time for me to really understand their language. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, this pest and his vermin friends are gonna go after my prized apple. And while they're at it, every other apple in the orchard. These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters. Monsters? Oh, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? No, I do not. The vampire bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. They don't care about nada, not zilch, no nothing. Except bringing about an orchard's destruction. Now wait just a minute, there's another side to this. And if I did not defend them, then I would be remiss. These bats are mamas and papas, too. They care for their young just like we ponies do. Oh, give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one-track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others may want? No, they don't. And that is just a fact. These bats, they simply don't know how to act. That's where I have to disagree. They're loyal to their family. Spreading seeds both far and wide. You see one coming, you better run and hide. They're big and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state my trees are in? They help your trees. They'll grow stronger, faster. They've turned my life to a total disaster. Well, I for one don't have a doubt. These vermin must be stamped right out. I second that they've got to go. These bats, they've got to hit the road. It comes down to just one simple fact. They've crossed the line. It's time to fight them Stop back. Stop the bats. Stop the bats. One simple fact, they've crossed the line, it's time that we attack. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made the better argument. These vampire fruit bats sound downright dreadful. So let's get to rounding them up so that they don't destroy the rest of my orchard. Fruit bat roundup, fruit bat roundup! Um, excuse me, but, um, what if instead of rounding them up, we let them have part of the orchard? Have you lost your pest-loving mind? They're only here because they're hungry. If we build a sanctuary for them, they could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even help the rest of your orchard. The vampire bats don't eat the seeds of the apples, and when they spit them out, they grow into even more productive apple trees. Listen, Fluttershy, that sounds real nice and all, but every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary, is a second they'll spend destroying Orchard. You don't know what it was like the last time there was an infestation, but Granny Smith has told me enough stories about it that just the thought of it gives me nightmares. Granny says we lost a huge section of Orchard that year. They had to ration out apples all winter. What about the cider? There was still cider, right? Not a drop. No cider? No cider? We need to round up these monsters and we need to do it now! If Granny Smith wasn't with Apple Bloom and Big Mac checking out our produce competition in Appaloosa, she'd be here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. I just wish there was another way we could convince them not to eat them in the first place. Maybe there is. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to suck the juice from the apples. But in order for the spell to work, I need the bats' full and complete attention. <gasps> oh no. Fluttershy, 
I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh, gosh. I don't know. What's the problem? You've used the stare plenty of times before. Yes, but it's not something I take lightly. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. This circumstance is plenty dire to me. Me too. Think of the cider. Won't somebody please think of the cider? I'm sorry. I just don't like the idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bats vampire fruit bats. It just feels wrong. But if we don't do this, there won't be any apples left for any pony here in Ponyville. Doesn't that feel wrong too? So what's it gonna be, Fluttershy? Will you do your stare on the bats or not? Um, um, okay, I'll do it. Good choice. I knew you wouldn't side with those icky bats. <gasps> They're not icky. First round of side is on me. Hold it right there. We gotta round up these beasts with wings first. Time's a-wasting. we need is for you to do your stare. Um, oh, are you sure I really need... Okay. I really, really, really hate to do this to you. I just hope you can forgive me. Good. Now you go, Twilight. All right. Applejack, it was my pleasure, really. Now all we gotta do is sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. Half a bucking day, take two. <laughs> Time to collect those juicy sweet apples. <laughs> work. You're darn tootin' the spell didn't work. I think we're gonna have to take more extreme measures. I hear you, Applejack. Come on, everybody. Let's track down those vampire bats. Wait a minute. I don't think these bats are the ones that suck my apples dry. But if the vampire bats aren't eating your apples, who is? Fluttershy, you're our animal expert. Do you know of any other creature that might be capable of this? I'm sorry, I don't. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll have to catch whoever it is in the act. And how do you propose we do that? A stakeout. The witching hour. 
Maybe we should just call this off. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm really hungry. Oh, Fluttershy, it'll be okay. Don't forget, darling, we're all in this together. That's right. No pony leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! Does every pony have their pony signal? <laughs> now remember, Pinkie Pie, only use a signal if you see something suspicious. I got it! Something suspicious! All right, now every pony split up. We'll each patrol our own row of the orchard. Whoever or whatever's destroying my apples has got to be here somewhere. I have a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. That apple, it looks so juicy and sweet. <laughs> Obviously, no need to worry about that shadowy figure overhead. Maybe there is. I think I'll just go see how Rainbow Dash is doing. Uh, who's there? Answer me, or you'll regret it. Fine, have it your own way. Take that, you, you, you. Scarecrow? Oh. <gasps> Applejack, what is it? Come down when she's ready. Let it bat on the loose! Run by Anna! Pinkie Pie, calm down. See? She's back on her branch. She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies! I'm not taking any chances! <laughs> How did this happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this. But somehow the spell must have backfired. It took the vampire fruit bats' desire to be vampire fruit bats and transferred that desire into Fluttershy. Come on, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's save Fluttershy before the thing eats us all! Keep the deck! <laughs> Follow that bat! I can't believe 
we lost her! Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless we corner her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. But even if we can lure her to us, how are we going to get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse spell? Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutterbat! <gasps> That's it! Okay, let's get our friend back. Action stations! So much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? <sighs> Sorry I didn't take your suggestion in the first place. And don't forget, now you'll get seeds that will grow into even bigger and better apple trees. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, more cider too. <laughs> okay, got the part about the spell, Fluttershy turning into a bat, building the sanctuary. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. And that you shouldn't let any pony pressure you into doing something you don't think is right. Sometimes you have to tell even your closest friends no. Now, how about we celebrate our stronger-than-ever friendship with a nice, ripe, juicy apple? Stand back! I want to suck its juice! <laughs>
then all of a sudden, I'm airborne! And then Rainbow Dash looks over and is like, <laughs> Nice moves, kid. Wow. She really said that? I mean, it's like she practically told me she wanted to take me under her wing, teach me everything she knows, and become, like, my big sister. I don't know about all that. It was a really nice compliment and all, but... I know, I know. But all that stuff I said could happen, right? Sure, absolutely. I just need to find a way to spend some time with her. You know, so she can see more of my awesomeness. Well, uh, Applejack and I are supposed to be camping up at Winds and Falls this weekend. Maybe I could get my big sister and invite Rainbow Dash, and then you could come too. Really? Sure. I want to go. Well, duh. Of course you can go. And I'll get Rarity to come too. Rarity loves camping. I despise camping. All of that <laughs> nature. Applejack's going with her little sister, but you know, you don't want to spend time with me. Oh, all right. Oh, of course, I will need to find an outfit more appropriate for roughing it. Ooh. See, told you she'd want to go. You packed the bug spray? Yep. You got the canteens? Yep. Looks like we're all set then. Hey! Gee, Rarity, did you remember to pack? Oh, well, let's see who gets the last laugh when you're absolutely desperate to curl your lashes and you realize you didn't bring your eyelash curler. Well, looks like we're all set now. But what about Rainbow Dash? Isn't Rainbow Dash coming? Of course she is, Sugar Q. She's gonna meet us up at our first campsite. Oh. All right, y'all. Let's move them out. Are we there yet? The last thousand times you asked that, the answer was no. This time, it's actually yes. There's Rainbow Dash up there right now. Just play it cool. Hey, me! <laughs> hey, Rainbow Dash. What's up? What took you guys so long? Well, some of us didn't pack as light as the others, so we were slowed down a bit. like you'll be sharing a tent with me, huh? <laughs> if that's okay with you. Sure, as long as you don't snore. You don't snore, do you? Nope, no way, not me. Never snored a day or <laughs> night in my life. Then you and I are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Sweetie Belle, do me a dear and see if you can find some fresh flowers for my bedside vase. Hey, Scootaloo, do be a sweetheart and see if you can gather some firewood. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, can you get us some wood for the fire? Of course. Okay, everybody get comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time when Rarity had wings and then it got ruined and then you saved her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, maybe it's the second best story you ever heard, but probably still the scariest. You like scary stories, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. It all happened on a night just like this one, in a forest just like this. And then the olden pony asked, who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me! Go, go! <laughs> <clears throat> Something in my throat. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Will you jump that cart the other day? You're no. like me. Fearless. Yeah, fearless. <laughs> Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and sound. Ooh. <sighs> 
think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our tent. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough. Just like when I was your age. Ah! I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. It's, it's nothing. Just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. A long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. Yeah, totally. Oh. Am I sweating? Oh, I think I'm sweating. Oh, uh, but it's absolutely worth it to get to spend time with my little sister. It's just that this cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time. I don't care if that cart's as heavy as a pack of mules. If we don't get a move on, it'll be dark before we get to the campsite. <gasps> dark? I'll just ride ahead to make sure the path is clear. No, we don't want to be out here after dark, right? Doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, it's for the scary ponies. than a worm and an apple on cider making day. What gives, Goodaloo? Uh, nothing. I just thought I heard something. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because you seem a little jumpy. Just getting my exercise. You know how important it is to stretch out those hindquarters every so often. <laughs> uh, do you, you need a little help? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, what are friends for? No need for tents tonight, y'all. We'll just take shelter in that cave. All right! A deep, dark cave. <laughs> Perfect for the story I've got for tonight. 
All we need is a campfire and we're good to go. Uh, of course. I'll be right back with lots of firewood from the deep, dark, not scary at all, Forest. Thanks. <sighs> okay, I can do this. On the count of three, I will get those branches. One, two, three! Than a Timberwolves toenail. Where's that, Schoolu? <laughs> Here you go. That's it? It's all I could find, because, you know, there aren't that many trees around here. It's all we need. Why don't you sit with Rainbow Dash for a while? Was I? Oh yeah, the scary part. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I tell tonight's story? All right, just make sure it's a horrible one. There once was a really, really nice pony who lived in a bright and sunny land where there are rainbows every day and lots and lots of happy friends. And no offense, but it's not a real campfire story unless some pony's shaking. I've been told that these very woods are haunted by the headless horse. It gallops only at night. If it doesn't have a head, then how in tarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. <laughs> Looking for little lost ponies. So where's its brain? Ugh. Fear was dripping from the end. And they were never heard from ever again. <gasps> never? Never. Worry, you'll be safe with me tonight. It's not time for bed yet, is it? Afraid so, Scootaloo. Uh, uh, but we haven't even sung any campfire songs yet. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> 99 buckets of oats on the wall. 99 buckets of oats. Take one down, pass it around. You got 81 buckets of oats on the wall. 41 buckets of oats. Take one down, pass it around. You got 40 buckets of oats on the wall. Just one more song. Anyone? How about a dance contest? I know you love to cut a rug, so how about we mess up a cave floor? I have a brilliant idea. Hide and seek. Who's with me? Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, seems like you don't really want to go to sleep tonight. Is there some reason why? <laughs> of course not. I just love camping and hanging out with Rainbow Dash so much that I don't want to waste a single minute with sleep. <sighs> Silly sleep. That's cool and all, Scoot. But this pony needs her shut eye, and she needs it now. This is so unfair. <sighs> I'm falling asleep. Gonna be heard from again! I wanna be 
Princess Luna! I thought you were the headless horse. You were mistaken, but I hope not disappointed. You are so, so much better than the headless horse. But what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in Canterlot? I am the Princess of the Night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. Oh yeah! Wait, this is just a dream? But it feels so real! I assure you that you are asleep. But when you wake, the thing that frightens you most will still exist. Uh, the Headless Horse? Hmm. Is the Headless Horse really what frightens you the most? Mm -mm. I'm afraid Rainbow Dash will find out I'm not as tough as she thinks I am. Every pony has fears, Scootaloo. Every pony must face them in their own way. But they must be faced, or the nightmares will continue. Sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just wanted you to hang out with me and see how cool I was so you'd take me under your wing, teach me everything you know, and become like my big sister. But then you started telling those spooky stories and I got scared. I thought I heard the Headless Horse, so I ran out here by myself and... Well, I guess you know the rest. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, but if you ever tell any pony else, I'm gonna deny it. First time I heard those stories, I was scared, too. <laughs> you were? Sure. I mean, I got over it because I realized pretty quick that if there was such thing as a headless horse, I could totally take it on. So, you're looking for some pony to take you under their wing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be up for something like that. Really? As long as you don't go falling into any more rivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's a deal. If you insist. <laughs> it is so hard! They think they can beat the two of us? sake. Now take it and stop all your moaning. Thank you, and have a nice day. 